Hi, this is Mike Callahan, Dr. FileFinder, and welcome to your Butterscotch Time tutorial on how to use Skype on your Android phone. Verizon Wireless released a version of Skype Mobile for all of their Android phones. See it here in the Android market. It's free. I already have it installed, so we'll go to that. And you see here it starts to load. Welcome to Skype Mobile. Enjoy free calls and instant messages to anyone who has Skype. And it lower rates the cell phones and landlines abroad. And we we'll tap continue. And while we do that, we get a lot of the uh, legal information and so on. We want to read through that. And when you scroll to the bottom, and tap accept. It also tells you after you say accept that Skype is not a replacement for your ordinary telephone and cannot be used for emergency calling. Accept that. And then we get presented with our regular Skype screen. So we'll log in. Now I've got that information typed in. I'll tap sign in. And you'll see it presents me with a dialog that shows that Skype Mobile doesn't currently work on Wi-Fi and requires you switch to your data from Verizon Wireless. So I'll tap the turn off Wi-Fi button. And tap sign in again. Now you see I'm signing in. So now we've signed in. Here are my Skype contacts. We can tap on events. Tap on call phones. And here's where you would enter the phone numbers that you want to call. Include the country and the area code. And then when you're ready, you click down here where it says call to call your phone. Go back to the contact screen. If you tap the menu key, you see that you can change your status from online to a way to do not disturb or to make yourself invisible. I'll be online. You can tap the menu key again. You can set your mood. You can add a contact. You can get Skype credit. You can edit your profile. If you tap more, you can sign out or you can go into settings. When we tap on settings, you see that you get quite a few different options, notifications, automatic sign-ins, have it start automatically when you start your phone. You can have it show your phone contacts if you wish. You can receive calls from anyone, and you can determine what you want. So here are a wide range of settings that you can choose for yourself. So this is a handy way to use Skype from your Android phone. And that's all there is to it. Hey, this is Doc. If you're looking for a cheap and easy way to put your own content on the web, go get domain names from Hover.com. Just visit Hover.com slash Butterscotch and you'll get 10% off and support shows like these. Thanks.